a city's capacity to provide efficient and accessible public transportation is an important measure of its general stability. However, when carpooling becomes a popular and convenient option, it exposes local government's lack of initiative in improving public transportation. This piece contends that the predominance of carpooling, despite its legal status and associated risks, demonstrate the government's inability to appropriately handle its population's transportation needs. Because of outmoded restrictions that fail to accommodate the changing requirements of urban populations, carpooling frequently functions in a legal gray area. While carpooling is a practical alternative for many commuters, in many countries it is prohibited or uncontrolled. The lack of clear legislation and regulatory frameworks governing carpooling demonstrates a lack of government initiative in adjusting to new transportation patterns and providing legal options for individuals. Local governments carelessly promote an environment in which people resort to infractions of law for their transportation needs by neglecting to develop a legal framework for carpooling. Despite its legal status, carpooling thrives because of its inherent convenience. Commuters frequently find it to be a more efficient and cost-effective alternative than limited and unreliable public transit. Carpooling allows people to share transportation, which reduces travel time and expenses while also establishing social relationships. However, it is crucial to recognize that carpooling has inherent risks since passengers entrust their safety to stranger drivers. Carpooling becomes an unsafe option for passengers in the lack of appropriate regulations and safety standards, indicating the government's inability to offer safe transportation options. The prevalence of carpooling may also be interpreted as a sign of insufficient investment in public transportation, infrastructure, and services. When public transit is insufficient, travelers look for alternatives to satisfy their urgent needs. On the other hand, using carpooling as a major means of transportation contributes to existing issues such as traffic congestion and pollution. Local governments must prioritize and invest in public transportation in order to provide residents with dependable, accessible, and sustainable alternatives that meet their requirements. Carpooling's popularity also shows wasted opportunities for local governments to adapt new transportation solutions. Governments could have proactively cooperated with ride-sharing platforms to regulate and incorporate carpooling into the public transportation environment, thanks to technological developments. They might have taken use of the benefits of carpooling while also assuring legal compliance, safety, and enhanced accessibility for commuters. Thank you for watching.